Lynn Belsham has big plans for when coronavirus restrictions lift. I want to hop in the motorhome, go and see the 12 apostles. Until then, a massive weight has been lifted off the 72-year-old shoulders after a bureaucratic battle for justice. Aged just 12, Lynn was sent to the notorious Parramatta Girls Training School in Sydney's West. I was running away all the time. I kept running away and so the warfare kept picking me up and locking me up. It was there a paedophile doctor abused her. The distress stayed with Lynn for decades and in the middle of 2018, when the National Redress Scheme came into being, she applied for compensation. I waited two years and then I got a letter saying I was getting zilch, nothing. I felt like I was worthless and I, f I felt that um, I wanted to end it. Advocates encouraged her to demand a review and less than a month later she was offered a six-figure payment. I'm going to buy my funeral, buy my son's funeral too. Seven and a half thousand applications for redress have been received so far and the federal government says more than 3,000 financial offers have been made. There's no doubt that early on particularly there were some quite significant problems with the scheme. The minister argues there's now a greater emphasis on supporting survivors through the traumatic process and more staff working behind the scenes to speed up processing times. Nobody's doubting the fact that the abuse took place, but we have to make sure that we have got the right institution. With a mandatory independent review currently underway, survivors and advocates are demanding changes be made to the redress scheme. And while all claims must be verified, many are warning that the forensic re-examination of allegations rips open decades-old wounds. It takes so long to get a financial outcome that people feel they are not believed all over again. Despite her own experience, Lynn Belsham's message for others in the same situation is clear. If you hang in there, you, you be successful in the end, you'll get justice. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.